Okay, so for this video, we're going to do a strep test. So we need a few different things. We need two different reagents. We need a reagent A and a reagent B. Then we also need a um, test strip. We need a test tube. And then we need our swab. Okay, so for this one, it's really important that you put gloves on um, because you will be handling saliva. I'm gonna go ahead and put gloves on. Next, we're going to put four drops of reagent A into the test tube. And then four drops of reagent B. And you want to do this immediately before you do your test. You don't want it to sit for very long. And then we're going to go ahead and kind of swirl that around to mix it up. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going to open our swab, making sure that you do not contact um, the cotton end. Okay, so we want to make sure that it stays sanitary. So we open it, and then you're going to have your patient. So you're going to have them open their mouth, say ah. Um, you may need to use a tongue depressor if they can't keep their mouth open um, or it's uncomfortable for them. So open your mouth, look up at the sky. Okay, and you rub it on the back of the throat between the tonsils. Immediately, we're going to put it inside of our reagent and kind of swish it around to make sure that the entire um, swab is in the fluid. Okay. Now we're going to leave it here for one to two minutes and then we will um, come back and finish the test. Okay, so after it sat for one to two minutes, we take the cotton swab out of the tube and then we actually want to use the tube um, to squish all of the remaining fluid out of the cotton swab to make sure that we get as much as we can. Next, we're going to take our test strip, open the package, okay, and there's arrows on it as to which end you're going to insert down into your test tube. We're going to go straight down, we want to get the end in the fluid as much as we can. and then we will wait for it to change color.